That's your boy Nancy, and today I'm coming at you with another reaction. Today we're gonna to be doing Fire Force episode 11, formation of Special Fire Force Company 8, the Mightiest Hekaishi. Fire Force, what are you doing? I could always count on you for short titles. Don't don't start this. Don't start this BS. But anyway, let's get straight to it. Bro, Hinawa without a hat. What what is this? <laughs> what, what, what is this? <laughs> Waki! She looks mad thin. No, I was surprised to see him without a hat and he was talking without his glasses the whole time. <laughs> God damn, bro. <laughs> Give her credit. I think it's heartless. What's more getting your gun baptized? What is that going to do? That's a good question because you're being a dick right now. <laughs> Ah, he got you. <laughs> but this character's gonna die. I feel like we all know this. Is it about to happen? It's a... <laughs> there it is. Ah, damn. Shoot him. Don't bitch out, bro. You got it. Just do it. He can't do it. Ah, hit him when you can't do it. You're such a good shot, bro. Man, this nigga's getting so hot, he's blue flames. Oh, 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 still going in. It's okay, bro. He's dead. Damn. Let this nigga up. Three. Uh, three is the, the Excalibur looking nigga, right? Yeah, he always had this cut. Points. This nigga's making a game out of it? Bro, they're making a game out of killing people. Because in this world, those people still have souls. あ、いや、その See, I'll be a real nigga, bro. Niggas is bullshit and making a game out of killing people, bro. I hate niggas like that. Bro, ain't he still in this shit? <laughs> Hino was real, too. I really need him with his hat, bro. He just looks weird without his hat. <laughs> but it. Them bugs ate that nigga up, bro. They did him dirty. Bow. Alright, take off before y'all get punished, bro. Y'all can't be just chilling right there. This nigga always been a captain from the jump. Bro, look at this shot, bro. My nigga look cool as fuck. Damn, bro, what if Earth really looks like this in the future, bro? All the shit that we got going on, the whole and ozone layer, the climate change, Earth getting hotter, bro, because it's hot as fuck in the south right now. Solar year 197. Is this AD? This shit looks run down. Maki! Get her over here. Get meat shell because of my ability. <laughs> the giggling rat is so cute. And, and no show type. I ain't saying it again. <laughs> my boy Benny Maru, the coolest captain. Can't tell me differently. <laughs> oh, Benny. That's nigga rude. But the eyes is dope. Look at that. It's so cool. This man is loved around here. I love it. Damn nigga, <laughs> the fucker is rude to everybody, but they all love him. Ah, they have yellow eyes. I had to go back and read what they said. These little girls need a belt. <laughs> Who's raising them? Bro, who, who, who is who is teaching them this? Right, Conroe is a real character too, bro. I love I love the seven. Last game of a diehard old biddy. I ain't old hack, bro. They need a belt. They already here. What? What? I tell you, bro. I love this nigga. 
But you can't tell me this nigga don't look cool as fuck, bruh. Bruh, they, they so small. <laughs> This nigga looks so cool. Oh, oh, this nigga got heart. This is Hakashi Force. But Shiva is that nigga. This man ain't scared of nobody, but he be taking on anybody. And I love it. You gonna get your ass kicked, but hey, do you? <laughs> she said, get out of my house before I get back. Dang, that's wild. Say ya, so ya, say ya, so ya, say ya, so ya, say ya, so But this, what, what is this artwork? This is like the Conqueror dance from Demon Slayer. Say ya, so ya. You know what's dope? They're fire soldiers, and their weapon of choice is a freaking mop. <laughs> Bruh, that shit is hard. Ooh. Bruh, you, you just destroyed the town. Why are y'all cheering? This, that shit hard. I, <laughs> that's that shit hard. And this is why I'm telling you this nigga is dope as fuck. Fuck up. This, this, nigga, this shit is hard. I told y'all, bro. Big Ball is that nigga, bro. Ah, but you destroying people's houses. What are you doing? Bro, rebuilding is a lot of work, though. You ain't you saying it like it's easy. My man's a dual wielder. And that's why this nigga is raw. Oh, this nigga ass! A compound fire soldier. That shit is hard. That shit is hard. But I'm drawing him. I think I'm gonna use Mondays as my speed drawing days. Since uh, two of the better second beast is done. Bro, you did that though. <laughs> the whole block is a mess because of you. <laughs> Ooh! How strong is this nigga's hand to just go straight through? Ah, uh, bro, he's so dope. Oh, he recognized him before he went. That's some shit. I think it was like, thank you, bro. Thank you for putting me out of my misery. Ah, fucks with him. Is that a friend, husband? Probably a friend. Destroy block. Okay, I understand now. Bro, this nigga, this nigga looks hard, bro. This is the best character that this creator has ever drawn, at least for this show. Cause I do love Kid from Soul Eater. I want to try a Die Fuku. That looks good. Ah, never mind, it looks mad chewy. That's how you end the episode. Why is the episode so short? Down. All right, so that was my reaction to Fire Force episode 11. Highlights, B. Namaru is that nigga, bruh. Did I not tell y'all? Did I not tell y'all that he's the coolest character? Bruh, he's a compound fire soldier, bruh. He can control it and he can control it and shoot it out, bruh. Like, that, that man is real. His eyes is dope. I love that, that lazy, sleepy draw look that he has on his face, bruh. He's, He's just a real ass character, but I love him. He's my favorite character in this show. I don't care nothing about Shinra, nothing about Arthur. Well, y'all know how I feel about Hibana. <laughs> but yeah, Benny Mara is my favorite character. Benny Mara is my favorite character. All right, so two things I liked about this episode. One was the telling of how the ape came about. Obi has always been that nigga, bro. Hinoa was actually colder back then than what he is now. I feel like he's actually warmed up a lot since he joined the ape. He's always been a nice guy, but like he doesn't speak as harshly as he once did with his friend. R.I.P. to his friend. And Maki, we got to see Maki. Maki was so thin. Maki was so thin. And that whole little scene where she found out how Hinobo really felt about her and why she joined the A in the first place, that was cute. That was cute. That was adorable. Are we going to ship them? Are we shipping them? I say we should. I say we should. That's a person that she admires and she looks up to. That's the prince that she's been looking for, or the, the king, whatever she said in those earlier episodes. I feel like Hinobo and her... That's a good match. That's a good match. The second thing, I like how this show showcases different perspectives of how people view the Infernos and what to do with them afterwards. You got the third that's like making it a game out of them, but fuck them. Cause bruh, you, you don't get you don't get points for killing people. I, I just that's not cool. Obi, even though what well, well, he never actually said what he was, but even though they're not really religious to the point where like they pray to the, the great soul as uh, everybody else does, and they still feel that these infernos are people, even though they lost their soul. Per se, I guess even though they lost their their conscious, that's the word. Even though they lost their conscious per se and, and not their soul, you can still put their souls to rest even in this newly formed body that's seen as evil, that's seen as a disease. Put them out of their misery, put them to rest, and pray for their souls being released. I, I like that. And then you got the Asakusa way 
where it's literally the same, but instead of praying to the great soul because you know they don't they don't believe in stuff like that, they do their own traditional offering, which is destroying the block and then being killed by Binamaro because Binamaro is a destructive king. So they'd rather have the block be destroyed by him because he's that nigga, and then be killed by him because no, he's that nigga. <laughs> so like, I like the different perspectives. Overall, I really like this episode. They introduced my nigga, so it gotta be a 10 out of 10. I like how the seven uh, fights with mops. Like, that's that's dope to me. I really like that. And uh, But that's pretty much it for this episode. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Check out the channel for more reviews, reactions, speed drawings. I got all that stuff on there. And you know, if you're fucking with the kid, you know you like my predictions, you like my thought process, you think I'm funny, I'm entertaining, whatever the case may be, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when I drop something new. This is Anansi. Thank you for coming to the kickback and I see you when I see you. Bro, this outro is becoming easy to me, bro. Like, I ain't even fucking up no more. I'm doing all this stuff on one take. I'm that nigga.